how to take your webcam from looking like this to looking like this. Latency, like what you're seeing here, is an issue that a lot of people deal with with webcams. Do not ever plug a webcam into an extension or a USB hub. Make sure it's plugged directly into your PC with the supplied cable in a compatible port. For the Elgato face cam, for example, you want at least a USB 3.0 for best results. And if you're still encountering latency, check the USB transfer mode. For the most flattering angle, you wanna place your camera just above eye level. Try to avoid exactly what you're seeing in this video, and that is having a window open behind you. For lighting, I personally find that one light either side of you diagonally is the most flattering. But if you only have a single light to work with, place it directly behind the camera. If your lights allow, you wanna set the white balance on your lights to something that makes your skin tone look as true to life as possible. Between the previous shot and now, I've turned all the settings to automatic and I've turned my two key lights on 13%. I also changed my USB transfer mode to ensure there's no latency. If you're streaming out or recording in 60 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be 1 1 60th of a second or 1 1 20th. A faster shutter speed means you will need to compensate with a higher ISO and ideally you have the lowest ISO possible without it being too dark. Your white balance setting should be whatever is closest to your natural skin tone, and this should be pretty close to what your lights are set at too. If you have colored lighting in your room, like I do on this side, you'll probably notice some light spill, but I personally don't mind it. And this is the end result with the Elgato face cam.